you know, just about any time that I make a video with OpenCV uh, for this targeting project, someone will ask me, hey, can you do face detection with that? Well, I'm not really interested in face detection or face recognition, but the answer is, yeah, of course. You can do face detection. Now, you'll notice I'm using a low-resolution camera just because uh, it's easier to process with all this other stuff going on on my computer. So, bear with me on that. But yeah, you can do face detection, and I'm doing this with um, built-ins, okay? They're just built-ins in Python. So the, the models for what a face looks like are already there. So you can find a face, you could, um, you could look for some eyeballs like that, right? You could find a nose, and then once you found a nose, you could do something very nefarious, like add a mustache to it, right? You could even scale the mustache and make it look real. Oh, lost my face. There it is. Okay. So, how does all this stuff work? Well, well let me get some of these things off of here. Uh, there we go. Let's just go with that. Okay, so basically what's happening is somebody at some point, now you can do this too, there's ways to do it with OpenCV, but somebody at some point took a bunch of pictures of faces and then they put them into some kind of statistical out, uh, you know, thing, Bayesian type thing that found out statistically what, or probabilistically, what's common, what is the common pattern for all these faces, okay? And then what happens is you take that model that you build and you scan it across the image and you look for near matches to that model. Then when you find a near match, then you examine it more closely and make a determination of whether that really matches the model or not. So it's kind of a cascading effect of, for that algorithm, and they call it a cascading algorithm. So you do a general quick scan, and then when you find something then that might match, then you do a more detailed look at it, okay? And all this stuff's built in. Um, I'm using built-ins for this. So if you, and then once you find that, if you want to look for, let's say in our case, we're looking for noses. So you want to look for noses, then don't, you don't look in the whole image, you just do, so someone's built a model of what noses look like, right, by scanning a bunch of little nose photographs. And then you just scan what you've identified as a face you scan that and look for noses, okay? Or if you wanted to do facial recognition, then you identify, hey, this is a person's face, and then you have, a, have to have a model for a particular individual, and you can see how well that matches, okay? So that's what you're doing. It's really pretty simple, and it works pretty well, okay? Now, let's see. I was goofing around, kind of testing some things to see how well it works. Now, of course, you realize it, it works. This is a frontal face model, okay? So as soon as I turn like this, it doesn't look, and then you'd have to use a profile face model. There's actually one that comes with uh, OpenCV, right? A, a profile face model. Let me turn the nose off, okay? So I was just testing around to see what it would recognize. And I was trying this. I could not get it to recognize this, right? So I got a little more complicated, and I tried this one. And every now and then, I get it to do something with this one, but it doesn't have enough features. You know, I was thinking, oh, it just would pick up on the eyes and maybe, you know, but that's not enough. The algorithm is a little more complicated than that, or the pattern is. But with this one, I was able to get it to match on this one. Okay, so this has enough eyes, nose, and it's human enough that it matches up sometimes, okay? Now you do see every now and then that this picture right here will pick up. And why it matches, I don't know. You know, it's, it's, a, um, it's a probabilistic model or a statistical model, so you don't know why it matches. It's just for some reason the mathematical representation of this equals the mathematical representation of the cascading model that's created. Okay. Anyway, so before I get to the next thing, um, the code, I'll put it, a link to the code in the description. It's pretty straightforward. You only need one extra cascade um, 
which I'll include with the code, and that's the nose one. You can download it online too, but I'll include that. And you ought to be able to run it. You know, it's pretty complex code, so it's more than you can explain in just a few minutes. But if you, you know, if you work through it, you ought to be able to do it. Now, a lot of times people's questions, their question is, how do I prevent that? Let's say I want to be anonymous. I don't want my face uh, picked out. I don't want um, my face identified. Well, there's a really simple solution to that. You get yourself one of these things. It's called a mobile telephone, right? And you just hold it down at about chest level and, and well, watch this. You ready for this? Did you see that? Let me tell you a secret. Cameras are looking down on you. Figuratively, and uh, actually they're looking down most of the time so if you just put your head down and look at the floor as you walk you won't be recognized right you just won't do it because it has to get either that full-on front shot or if you're using a profile one or you know it has to get the right shot and as soon as you look down you're on you won't get picked out as being a face and then you can't be recognized so just uh, look down if you want to be anonymous. So that is about it. Get the code. Try it out. It's silly. You can make silly pictures with it. And you can look like Tom Selleck. Well, maybe not as good as Tom Selleck, but pretty good.